hello and welcome back to my channel glory to jesus honor to mary and joseph an exhibit that includes more than 100 relics of jesus christ the holy family and numerous saints will be ex exhibited at a parish in northern new jersey on saturday february 24th from noon to 7 pm our lady of mount camel oratory in mount Clair, new jersey we host the exhibit at East Capazelli at East Capazelli Hall on 94 Pine Street. The parish is located in the Archdiocese of Newark, about 20 miles west of New York City. I think it's going to be an experience for people, especially for an exhibit this large. Joe Santoro, the, re the regional delegate to the United States for the International Crusade for Holy Relics said. Santoro is supplying the relics for the exhibit when he obtained personal, personally through his work to preserve these holy objects. He said his preservation of the relics is saving them from places where they are not going to be honored in the appropriate way. The exhibit includes a handful of relics from the Passion of Jesus Christ a small splinter of the cross, a piece of the crown of thorns, a piece of Christ's tomb, a piece of the colon on which Christ was whipped before his crucifixion. He also includes relics from the nativity, such as a piece of the Blessed Mother's veil, a piece of Christ's crib, and parts of the bone of the three wise men. Other relics include a piece of skin and blood from St. Padre Pio's stigmata, a piece of St. John Paul II's hair, and a scarf of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, the first American saint. The exhibits will also include relics from the evangelists, the apostles, and other saints and martyrs. The relics will be displayed in three sections, one for relics related to the Passion, one for the nativity and one for all of the other relics it is a privilege and a joy to host a relics exhibit of this magnitude father flora the rector at our lady of mount camel said some of them date back to biblical times and others are relics of saints of our time flora said to have such an exhibition of relics is a blessing for the church and for people who will attend the event because it gives the opportunity to pray and to ask for particular graces. Santoro said the relics can help the faithful become closer to God and help them meditate on the passion of Christ near the beginning of Lent. People are drawn to them, he said. A relic doesn't contain any magical power or anything like that, Santoro added. The people have to bring their faith and God performs these miracles through these great men and women. The Catholic Church has three classifications for relics. A first class relic is any part of the saint's body such as hair, blood or bones or object directly associated with Christ such as a piece of the cross, a piece of the tomb or a piece of his crib. A second-class relic is any item that are used by a saint during his or her life. A third-class relic is an item that touches a first-class relic. Although this exhibition is a one-off event, Santoro said that he hopes there can be a tour in the near future. He said this weekend is a kickoff to see how it goes. We thank God for this preservation of all these relics. At least they tell us that all these written in the Bible, they are not mirage. Rather, they truly existed. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.